it was a really interesting line of work and I think ended up being four or five papers long. But what we wanted to do in this uh, resource, which was on um, an annotated bibliography, I think we called it, was just literally find every reference and make them available group by disciplinary subheadings. And in the last iteration, um, there was actually a scholarship of teaching and learning on Indigenous psychology. And that was so exciting to see that come through over that kind of decade. Mm. But in addition, um, this resource had come out that was led by the Australian Indigenous Psychologists Association. So we kind of felt we wouldn't need to do any more. I guess while we were doing it, there was a lot of positive feedback from profs around the country that reached out to you and me and Blake and said, you know, thank you. And some people would sometimes send us the reference if they had published something and ask us to integrate it into the next year, which we did. And um, there was, I know in my own work, uh, I found a lot of papers that I otherwise wouldn't have seen through the project. And there was a sense that it made our, you know, um, it kind of legitimized our work at UQ legitimized the work of other scholars at other unis. Like some people wrote to us and said, look, I've, I've shown your reference list to, you know, a committee and I'm trying to get them to take up the agenda. But I guess mm. I would say, um, you know, once we stopped doing it, I'm not sure that the agenda actually did manifest as a commitment and as a, you know, an implementation. And like you said, um, Katie, I feel like we're reinventing the wheel now. Here at UQ, we're just starting another project on indigenized mm. and the curriculum. It just, it's not a fait accompli. <laughs> it hasn't mm -hmm. achieved. I mean, what's your sense of how things are where you are at Melbourne? Yeah, it's the same situation at the moment. We're really only just paying lip service to the idea that it's important mm. to embed indigenous perspectives into like all curricula. Mm. Uh, and in my experience, at the moment that hasn't been um, backed up with concrete action and certainly not policy-based um, yeah. changes to incorporate those kinds of perspectives. I'd love it if um, it were, but it's something that I had in mind when I redeveloped the social psychology section of the first year um, course here to try and um, incorporate some of those um, perspectives. I think, well, our group um, kind of did a handover and we also, you know, Katie finished her PhD and quickly became an international superstar. And um, you just sort of sort of think to yourself, now we're almost turning the wheel again a, a decade later. Um, what mm. are your thoughts, on? Yeah, that, that actually is the lesson for me. Um, 